The Legend of Arsène Lupin. Gentleman Thief is a tale that has been heard by most, but the truth known only by a few. Opinions are divisive. A playful swindler or a hardened career criminal. One thing that cannot be argued, the excitement of Arsène Lupin and his antics are unrivaled. They're just paranoid, as if Lupin's going to get anywhere near this place. I know you keep saying it's an impenetrable fortress, but you've heard the stories. Don't worry, it's an easy gig. We got our posts, and that egg stays sick. Gentlemen. Undertaking for most. He was triumphant over. Now, a combination was all that stood between him and his prize. The combination had to be somewhere. Would they have... Two, eight. The terrified owners only trust... and yet huh. before he tackled the colossal vault door that blocked his path The vault stood open like a cookie.
Carefully. Now. Curse is mm. locked. But. Curse is locked. Steady hand. Aha. Of course, it was not the obvious that he was. Ah. Huh? If an alarm is... <laughs> Let me guess. You read that in the newspaper. They also said I ran around in a top hat and cloak. When have you ever seen that? A little exaggeration never hurt. But it's your story to tell. If you have different version of events. If you want the real truth, we'll have to go back further still. Let me tell you about a young man. Bernard Andrézy. His investigation and how it led to my arrest. On the second day, at a distance of 500 miles from the French coast, in the midst of a violent storm, a wireless telegraph message was received. Arsène Lupin is on your vessel. First cabin, blonde hair, wound right forearm, traveling alone under the name Ray. The telegram was cut short, but by the next morning the whole ship had heard of Arsène Lupin's presence, and the deck was alive with gossip and rumors. Can you believe it? Arsène Lupin stowed on board. 
Arsène Lupin, the man of a thousand disguises. If apparently he's traveling under the name R. But the waiter at breakfast told Miss Underdown and I that he had snuck on in the dead of night in a rubber life raft. Can you imagine it? Daring, dangerous. It's like something out of a storybook. Don't you think, Miss? Not a book I'd read, but I can see why there might be excitement around. Should we be worried? I have valuables on board and the things I've heard about. You've got nothing to worry about. But Miss Underdown, if you feel nervous. Miss Gerland and I shall both be fine. Wouldn't it be exciting if I could get the photo? It would certainly be some feat, as you said. No, it wouldn't. As soon as he is caught, he'll. Hey, you. Come here. Bernard Andrézy. I see my reputation. You did just say your name. Oh. I'll get right to the point. Miss Underdown. We're both warm blooded males. There's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition. Right, Benny? It's Bernard. I wonder if I could ask you a question. The dining hall is past the cabins. I was more interested in the ship's unwanted guest. If he's not fleeing from one job, he's probably moving on to the next. Maybe his target's on board. You think he's here to rob someone? Would he really go all the way to America just for that? From what I've heard, he's prepared to do anything to get what he wants. There's plenty of guests on board that would be the perfect target for him. Excuse me, miss. Oh, you gave me a... That's expected with Arsène Lupin on board. Allow me to introduce myself. Bernard Andrézy. Lady Gerland, how do you do? A cryptic telegram comes through saying a blonde man wants to steal all our belongings, and we're supposed to remain calm. I'm not exactly sure that's what the telegram implied. Maybe that's because you don't have as much to lose. You mean besides how he spent his life as a criminal, stealing people's hard-earned money? I've never heard Father say one good thing about him. From what I've heard, he doesn't care what people say about him, just that they're saying something at all. And what does that say about him? I told you to keep it to yourself. You know how gossip travels. I was always going to get out. I wanted control how and when. What are we going to do? Post someone on a stairs guard in a storage room. And another guard in the crew quarters. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Get to it then.
Excuse me, Miss Underdown? The excited man with the... That's me. Just Bernard. What can I do for you? I'm traveling to see my father while he's on business with my dear friend, Lady Gerland. I've actually just spoken to her on the deck. She has some strong opinions of... I'm sure you won't be surprised to find I feel the same. I'm hardly surprised with what newspapers say. I'm afraid there isn't much to know. I'm sure that can't be right. A beautiful, intelligent young woman like you? Be careful. A girl could get used to such flattery. Things seem to be going well. This voyage has a lot more potential than first. I'm left wanting to know more. Hopefully I'll get the chance to spend more time with her. We're all on this ship to relax, and having him on board has changed everything. Only if you let it. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Now, I have a question for you. What brought you on this voyage across the Atlantic? My work. I'm a photojournalist, or at least trying to be. That would explain the camera. It wasn't my initial plan. But if I could get a shot of Arsène Lupin, it would do wonders for my career. Go on. What would you say to you and I trying to find Lupin ourselves? And ex Exciting would be one word. You don't want him to ruin your trip. And if we don't do something, who will? I wouldn't usually be so easily persuaded. Where would we even start? What do we know about Arsène Lupin? We don't know how he did it, but it shouldn't be too hard to spot. We should look for someone with an injured arm. He's a master of disguise, but we can only work with what information we have. We sh I imagine there are a number of guests on board with that initial. We should try and narrow the list down. Very astute, Monsieur Dondrecy. Bernard. Anyone would think this isn't your first investigation. There are many things you still have to learn about me. Really? The gentleman from the deck? Arsène Lupin is known as a master of disguise. Don't hold me in suspense. Do you think you could keep Monsieur Rosen distracted while I search his cabin for evidence? And what am I to say to him? Just be your ever-enchanting set. That I can do.
the poop is here somewhere. Come on, think. One step closer to proving it. I think I'm getting the hang of this detective thing. If this doesn't impress Miss Underdown, Time for... There isn't time for mistake. If this doesn't impress Miss Underdown. The poof is here somewhere. There isn't time for mistake.
the poof is ear somewhere. One step closer to proving it. So, you decided to take me up on my offer. I knew you wouldn't be able- Yes, with that man on board. You've nothing to fear when Louis Rosane is near. I feel nauseous listening. I can only imagine how she feels. There is no time to waste. So that's how the great Arsène Lupin was caught. By two amateur sleuths? Are you questioning my storytelling? No, no, it's just the newspaper reports didn't include anything of your claims. Claims? It's the truth. The newspapers have never been worried with allowing the truth to get in the way of a good story. The good story I was just getting to. I just think we'd benefit from hearing all sides of the story. At least about what Inspector Ganimard did when he boarded the ship. This is what I heard. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome you to the United States of America. There will be a minor delay in the disembarking of the ship. A detective has come aboard to take over certain matters with an unwanted guest. Yes, I know what his name is, and it doesn't need to be repeated. Yes, I know it too. <clears throat> I ask for your cooperation. The faster he's found, the faster we can get you all on dry land. Thank you. This detective better know what he's doing. It's Inspector. Today is the day. He is on board, and he's not getting away this time. One, I am Inspector Ganimard, and shall be addressed as such. Everyone is to remain on board until Lupin shows his face, and I have the coward in custody. I don't ask for much, but I'm asking now. Please, please, let me catch Arsène Lupin. You've got him down to a T. Inspector Ganimard, you mean? It's like he's here in the room with us. I've read enough about the frustrating years and near misses of pursuing his rival. It wasn't hard to find his voice. He certainly wasn't going to let anyone get in the way of him catching his prey. Captain, I'm sure you're eager to get Lupin off your ship. Of course, and you're right. This is my ship. You can save the speech. I don't want your ship. I just want Lupin. We've narrowed it down to two suspects. Hmm, saves me a job. Let's hope the captain keeps it up. 
I'm going to need to see inside their cabins. Of course. Which cabin first? This old dog still got some new tricks. Carry on like this. How does he do it? No wonder he's always too. It's called common sense. That would be obvious to anyone.
There's a suspicious number of medical supplies here, and Lupin is nursing an injury. Plus, he had an appointment with you? I think he's been manipulating you. Uh, there's nothing more to see here. Take me to the other cabin. <laughs> 